Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. Dude. I can't believe that this special holds all the secrets of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, and we get to let just a few of those secrets out, like an exclusive look at one of the most action-packed chases of all time. <laughs> Plus, we get to show everyone what makes these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bigger and better than ever, and how they plan to stop the Foot Clan, and the real magic behind creating giant superheroes in a shell. I mean, it's insane. Why don't we start with what makes these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bigger and better than ever? I like the way you think. That's right, Turtle fans. Whoppa! Everyone's favorite pizza-loving heroes in a half shell are coming to the big screen. Let's go, let's move! Action movie super producer Michael Bay and Paramount Pictures are bringing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to theaters everywhere. Ah! Like you've never seen them before. About time. With mind-blowing action and crazy cool tech that turn these actors into the Ninja Turtles. Becoming a Ninja Turtle is every kid's dream come true. We're really acting these parts out, and then they're using this unbelievable technology to turn it into a turtle. I think that is amazing that we can do that now. The turtles look very cool. And they're bringing some fan favorites with them, from Splinter to Shredder to April O'Neil. Hi, everyone. It's April O'Neil from Channel 6 News. And her van-driving cameraman, Vern. You're a talking turtle. Yeah, yeah, I'm a talking turtle. And you're a human nerd. Shredder's plan is more sinister than ever. Oh, glad you could join us. So it's gonna take more than pizza to stop him. We thought it was the perfect franchise to bring back. With today's technology, we've been able to update the Ninja Turtles. Michael Bay has allowed us the opportunity to make photorealistic walking, talking turtles. So they're aliens. No, that's stupid. They're ninjas. It's such the perfect timing to make a movie like this because you can do it justice, you can do it right. You live, you die, you fight as brothers. Ninja Turtles all have very well-defined personalities. Leo with his blue bandana, he's very zen, you know, centered like water. We will find you. Raph with like his red bandana, I mean, he's hot-tempered. He's angsty, brooding, he's big. <laughs> And then Donnie's the geek. He's the genius. The inventor, the guy that comes up with all the gadgets. Can you hear me? Do you know what city you're in? Mikey is the glue that holds everyone together. That laid back Cali style. Ibra, 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 DJ Mikey in the house. He can keep you laughing even in the most difficult of times. That may be, but there's nothing funny about Shredder, who has taken his evil plans to a whole new level. Shredder, we're battling the forces of evil. Somebody who's wanting to take over the world, and we're out to stop them. In one of these kind of altercations, we get seen by April. An ambitious reporter wanting to prove herself, April O'Neil stumbles upon the story of a lifetime. There's a huge story here. Now if she could only get someone to believe her. There are four, six foot talking turtles walking around New York City and no one has seen them but you? That's what I'm telling you. Okay, get out. It's unlike anything you've seen so far. It's epic and fun, bigger than I could have imagined. Cowabunga! So they're heroes in the half shell. So I, I guess we're gonna be showing my heroic scene like later, or we're gonna be showcasing that. This is about the turtles, Will. And in order to truly understand the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we need to look at how it all started. From pen on paper, to TV screen, to vivid eye-popping technology, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have come a long way to raise shell on the big screen. Ninja Turtles actually originated in the Eastman and Laird comics. Late one night in the studio, Kevin drew a turtle standing on its hind legs with an chaku strapped to its forearm. And he showed it to me and he says, hey, this is a Ninja Turtle. And I was like, yeah, great. You know, and so I had to do my own version. And of course, I had to top him, so I did a sketch of four. Each one had different weapons. And sometime around that point, I suggested, well, why not add Teenage Mutant to the name? That's when it happened. 
the turtles became a phenomenon from the pages of a comic book. From there, they took over our screens, big and small, in cartoons and movies. We get to the movie theater for the first showing on a Friday night, and the line grows out the movie theater, around the block. And now, they cowabunga their way every day in the Nickelodeon smash hit series. What's the plan? Well, you know, kick, punch, stab. Right in my wheelhouse, brah. <laughs> this time, they're bursting from the sewer as the biggest, baddest action heroes the big screen has ever seen. I think the challenge is that balance between keeping it faithful while adding to it. We retain the humor and the charm of the cartoons in the first films. What are you? We're ninjas. We're mutants. Well, technically, we're turtles. Oh, and we're teenagers. But we can still have adult conversations. A total fresh approach, and it's very exciting. We hope that the fans from every generation are able to look at this movie and feel that we gave them what they wanted and something more. They were so cute when they were little. Well, they're all grown up now, and they are highly skilled ninjas prepared to defend those that can't defend themselves. Why are you looking directly at me when you say that? No reason. Becoming a ninja warrior takes years of martial arts training. Becoming a ninja turtle? Oh, that's a piece of cake. If by cake you mean world-class stuntmen and state-of-the-art motion capture technology. We knew we wanted the turtles to have a fresh look. So we thought, let's bring the turtles into a CG world. Now we can do anything with these ninja turtles. All they needed was some motion capture suits to help the actors transform into turtles on the big screen. The motion capture suits are pretty funny. They're kind of like overly tight pajamas. So we're gonna have like the cameras that look like antennas and like the shell and these triangles. And oh, it's only bad when you're in public. <laughs> Woo! When you put that shell on, it manipulates the way you walk, the way you move. It shapes everything that you do from there on. We're shooting a scene like we're shooting a movie, and then they're using this unbelievable technology to transfer what we've done. And manipulate it somehow to make these walking, talking creatures that look like they were there. <laughs> no, 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 whoa, whoa, chill. It's just a mask. See? Don't freak out. Right? <sighs> Technology turned the actors into freakishly large turtles. But going from Teenage Mutant Turtles to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meant calling in some serious butt-kicking martial artists. The stunt team is so good. I mean, one of our stunt guys is a five-time world karate champion. They can do things that I have never seen anyone do. So, here, Ninja Mutant Turtle Teenagers. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds ridiculous. Movie technology is crazy good these days. I totally thought that the guys wearing the gray suits when we were shooting were Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mine just blown. Well, if you're impressed by guys in suits becoming mutant turtles on screen, wait until you see the tech behind the action. Like that super action-packed, super exclusive peek at the incredible snow chase sequence that's coming up. Cow Among Us. That isn't what they say. Or is it? It's definitely not. We asked kids, why do you like the turtles? Who doesn't like crime fighting turtles? They grew up in a sewer and they were trained by a rat. That's pretty awesome. Since they're brothers and they all have their differences, it makes the group stronger. I think that's really cool. I love that it's adventurous and humorous at the same time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Inside the Action will be right back. Wow, I made it through. Donatello here. I totally hacked in. <laughs> Hope you don't think I'm being shellfish. Shellfish, dude? Seriously? Get out of here, Mikey. Quit hacking my hack. Bye, Megan. Call me. Okay, that's it, Mikey. I've heard enough. Now I know what makes those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ready for action. 
What makes them ready for action is that as different as each turtle's personality is, so is their line of defense. And I am talking about the tools of the ninja. Each turtle's ninjutsu style is as cool as the tools they use. Raf is the guy with the scythe. Leo is the king of the katana. Mikey is gnarly with his nunchucks. And Donnie is a pro with the bow staff. Let's see how the turtles got ready for action. The hardest part is then to make it look as natural as possible. You have to look like they've been training with those things since they're like little kids. There was definitely a significant level of training involved. I would hurt myself badly if there wasn't. I started with a single katana to learn the forms, to learn how it moves, how it's held, how it's holstered. After I proved that I was proficient at the katana, I graduated to two, just holding a second katana, let alone swinging it and keeping it with any sense of precision was a real challenge. Mikey's choice are nunchucks. They kind of fit Mikey really well. They're kind of flailing, and he's got a lot of flavor in the way that he fights. Oh, yeah. I'm about to do that. I meant to do it. Raph uses this eye. It's super complicated. There are so many different grips. I would spend hours in my apartment just flipping this eye like a thousand times. But we had unbelievable teachers. We were lucky to be working with the best in the world. And of course, Donatello has all his gadgets and his machines that he's built. There's cameras up in his lair looking at every possible subway line, every security feed he's in. You know, the guy sitting at the computer all the time is no longer the outcast. I think that's cool now. The nerd age is upon us. And I think Donatello represents that whole idea. It's been a blast. Everybody's here just to bring to life these characters as best they can, and it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> you lost your hands. Hands. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. But you know what's even cooler? The big snow chase scene. See how I did that? Cooler because it's cold and it's awesome. Oh, that was a joke. Uh, you know what? But first, we hit the streets for another ninja report to find out who the fans chose as their favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I think it's Mike. What do you think? Well, you got a 25% chance on that. My favorite Ninja Turtle of all time is Raphael, because he's got a lot of attitude. I really love April because she's best friends with the Ninja Turtles. My favorite Ninja Turtle is Donatello. He wears purple, and it takes a true Ninja Turtle to wear purple while kicking butt. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Inside the Action will be right back. Michelangelo is my favorite. I can really identify with his surfing, pizza-loving personality. My favorite Ninja Turtle is Raphael. He's like the team's bad boy. My favorite Ninja Turtle would be Leonardo, because he's leader. My favorite Ninja Turtle is Donatello, because he uses the bow staff, and so do I. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the big snow chase scene. Whoa, 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 pump the brakes, Will. Why am I pumping the brakes? because we need to show everybody what went into making this epic scene. Oh, you mean now I, how I do all my own stunts? No, I mean the unbelievable stunt team and the visual effects geniuses that created it. Uh, okay, sure, yeah, I guess they played a part in this too, but you don't see any of them manning a big rig down an icy mountain. Actually, it's because of them that we see you doing it. Sure, I mean, if you want to get technical about it. April, Vern, and Raphael team up to rescue Raph's brothers. The only escape? Driving a big rig straight down a mountain. Kawa, look out below. The snow sequence is a, a really big action set piece. You see the turtles do things that you'd never seen them do. We've never seen the turtles use their shells as a sled bin. They were flipping around and they were having fun. And it's the culmination of everything that we wanted to show the turtles do in an action sequence. And it's awesome. I think the way to sell visual effects as much as possible is to have as much reality in the frame as you can have. A lot of the truck rolling down the hill and that stuff we shot practically because we wanted to make that action sequence feel more real than turtle fans had seen in the past. Talk about challenging. Plowing through snow, dodging trees, flying off rocks. 
and to make it even tougher on themselves. It was all shot in summertime, and of course we could spray snow down on the ground, but everything else was gonna be computer graphics. So it's really important that we always wanna ground all of this stuff in reality. You know, we've got the, the actors, then we've got some rough digital environment, and then we've got another plate at the end of these guys in the truck. The more real it is, the more the audiences are going to believe in it. And then we can just make it bigger and grander and something more special. All right, that's it. The scene looked better than anything we could have imagined, and that's exactly what you want. The weight is killing me. Can we just get to the scene? Absolutely. And now that we've seen what makes this the biggest, most action-packed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie ever, it's time to experience it. So, as promised. Oh, hack, I'm hacking in. Yo, dudes. Mikey? You know it. Hey, Megan. You know that scene you're about to show? Did you see me falling down that mountain? Yes, I did see you, Mikey. Because I wasn't just falling. No? I was falling. You. Okay, can we please just run the scene? Oh no! transmission, but I have reliable intel that we're out of time and need to get ready to save the world this summer on the big screen. Bye for now. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this look at the most action-packed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie of all time. And we had a blast sharing the secrets of the turtles with you. We sure did. And here's one last look at everybody's favorite non-news van driving heroes. From our sewer to yours, till next time. Bye. Bye. Let's rock and roll, boys. Yeah! Come on! That's harsh. Four turtles, one's fighting a robot samurai. Why not? What's up, bruh? Oh, you think you can handle this, huh? I'm a snapping turtle, fool. Snap, snap, snap!